So welcome back coders, uh, never give up coding and continue coding. Now, in the previous tutorial, we did made some changes. And in those changes that we made, uh, we deleted some files and we are left with only index.js file. So now in my index.js file, I wanted to create a variable, a const variable, and call it my, call it my element. Now, equal to that my element, open for me those curly braces now in this my element we are going to put in a table in it so to save time type in the table i'm just going to paste the table there tab paste so this is the table that we have created or the element we have created now this way of creating of putting html into javascript this is what we call jsx so it's going to have its own video i'm going to explain jsx in its own video in depth now after doing that at the end here, you can put React DOM, then dot render, dot render, then you can pass in my element, then you can pass in document dot get element i get element by id get element by id, and then the id we are getting is root. Now I'm going to assume that you know some JavaScript, some JavaScript in the DOM. So you should be understanding what this means. Document not get element by ID. And this is our element. Now what is happening here? React DOM dot render. Now in React there are two DOMs, there are two document object models. There is the React or the virtual DOM, and then there is the main DOM. So in this case, we are working with the React DOM. So we pass to the React DOM a reference to some element in the main DOM and then we pass to it an element that we wanted to inject in this main DOM root. Now, I mean this main element root. Now, why is this element root? You can go to public and come to index.html. Now, index.html, you can see here that the element which has an ID of root is here. So, this code that we have created, this table, the React DOM will get it and then inject it into this element with an ID of root and then it will be displayed onto uh, our browser. But now, when you run this code, we are going to get an error. It's not going to show anything. You can see that we are showing nothing. Now, the reason why we are showing nothing is because this is an old way of pushing code or pushing uh, elements onto our DOM. So here we are importing react-dom slash client. What we are supposed to be importing is react DOM. That's the old way of importing. So when you come back here, you can see that the code has now run. You can have now the name John and Elisa. But this is an old way of of importing. Let's say that's an old way of, of doing that. But now this 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 i this id doesn't necessarily have to be root. It can be anything. So we can go to our index.html here, and then near the root we can change it to. Let's change it to ant. Right. And then, when we come back here, we can also change it to ant. And then when we run our code, let's see, when the code, ex uh, code compiles and executes, you can see that we have the same thing, nothing is changed. But for conversion's sake, we can leave this as root, then we can come back here and leave this as root. So, this is how you render some HTML how you render some HTML onto the DOM. So what you do, you first create your, you first create your element, then you push your element uh, to React DOM dot render, then you pass through the uh, the element by ID. But this is an old way of doing it. And in the next tutorials, I'll be showing you the new way of pushing an element to your DOM. So thank you for watching. Continue coding and never give up coding.